pickpocketed tonight, and some of them are virtual prisoners in their own homes. The elevator has been broken since mid-November with no timetable for when it might be fixed. As Nadia Stewart reports, with new condos surrounding their building, they're worried they might have an even bigger problem in the near future. This is Sharon Danulin's new normal, walking past the broken elevator to take the stairs. She's been doing this since mid-November. It was a real problem through Christmas. Um, people couldn't get their gifts upstairs. Or their groceries. Picking up the mail has also become a challenge. We have a number of people in the building who are either disabled or um, pregnant, unable to carry groceries upstairs. But it was only weeks ago this notice appeared under Danulin's door. There's talk the elevator could be fixed in a few days. She isn't convinced that will happen, though. Fearful the delayed repair is a sign of something else. We're not sure that they have any intention of fixing it at all. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but all around here, buildings have come down. So we're wondering if we're going to be a run eviction, and that's why they're not repairing it. Now, we don't know whether or not that is the case, but according to the Alliance Against Displacement, their concerns are quite valid. They say when some of these low-rise rental buildings in Burnaby were set to be torn down, delayed repairs became quite common. Another similarity, the so-called rent evictions in Burnaby were in Metrotown near the SkyTrain station. The Newlands building is within walking distance of the new Evergreen Line. They want to densify around SkyTrain lines. But when you uh, densify, that means you're essentially turning it over to developers to build something that they're going to make a profit off of. They don't want to be able to rent for, uh, for working class people. We called Amicon, the property manager, to find out when the elevator would be fixed. I'm sorry, I'm not able to comment on that. We're still waiting for a call back, while Danulin waits for whatever comes next. As soon as I wake up, that's the first thing I think about is where am I going to go now? Just knowing what the vacancy rate is like out there. Nadia Stewart, Global News. Well, tomorrow...